put aside all your other thoughts and just think about the breath. Where do you feel the breath right now? We'll focus on that. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Don't go running around. Other thoughts come through, but you can just let them come through. They don't have to be addressed to you. Think of them as mail going for somebody else. We tend to take things on. Our mind is like a big vacuum cleaner. Everything that comes in here it just sucks right in, sucks right in. You have to learn how to turn it off. Turn off that part of the vacuum cleaner. Just sort of be with the present moment. Choose very carefully what you want to focus on. Because this is something we really can choose. There's so many things in life where we don't have much choice. But what you do with your own mind is something you can choose. And yet for most of us, we just kind of leave it to its own devices. Whatever comes up in the mind, we think, well, this must be my thought. I must be feeling this. This must be me. And as a result, we end up suffering a lot. It's like somebody who doesn't know what to eat and what not to eat. We just take things in, take things in. So exercise some choice inside. Things outside may not be the way you want them to be, but at least you can choose to make the mind suffer or make it not suffer, because that's the suffering that really weighs down the mind, is the suffering the mind causes itself. So you want to give the mind a good thing to think about. This is why we think about the breath. It's a neutral place to stay, and it can actually become a very pleasant place to stay. It doesn't have a lot of issues, but it can be very comfortable. Figure out what now, right now what kind of breathing would feel good for the body. Does it need some energizing? Well, breathe in a way that gives it more energy. Does it need some calmness? Well, breathe in a calm way. You can ask yourself if deep breathing feels good or shallow breathing feels good. There's lots of possibilities right here at the breath. You have the, you have the freedom to choose, because there is that element of freedom in every moment. And the most important one is whether you choose to make yourself suffer or not. Now, for most of us, we don't really realize we have the choice. And this is one of the things that meditation is good for. It makes you realize you have some choices you never thought of before. So learn how to keep the mind here and learn how to teach it how to let go of all the various thoughts that might come in to pull you away from the breath. And learn how to read what kind of breathing the body reads, needs right now. All of these are skills that are really useful for gaining some control on what's going on inside and learning how to exercise that freedom of choice so it really is to your benefit and for the benefit of others. In other words, you find a happiness that doesn't harm anybody at all. So realize you've got this freedom and make the most of it. Otherwise, it just gets discarded every moment, every moment, every moment. And there's no way you can go back and pick up the freedom that you had in some previous moment and change it. You had the choice, but you didn't really exercise the choice well. You've got to let those things pass. Focus on what you've got the choice to do right now, because this is where you really can make a difference.